My name's missing from the down, <laughs> seven downtown. <laughs> sure. That's so we spent, we spent an awful lot of time is. discussing <laughs> three different potential schemes. So the, the one scheme was the one that I had brought in last time we had a meeting. And then Mike brought in another scheme that we were looking at. And then Mark was sitting here and we were brainstorming, came up with yet a third scheme, which I think I'd like to try to draw at some point. But we ended up deciding to go to try to develop a little further the scheme that I had brought in before. Um, and so we didn't really get a chance to look at all at the surrounding neighborhood. But just always, this is really just the train station itself. But it's basically a three-level scheme. And you have the main level, which is basically at the grade of Central Avenue. And you have a lower parking level, which is below this entire piece of land there. And then you have an upper level, which accesses buses. So on the main level, we have essentially kind of a T-shaped public lobby area. We do have a pull-in station there. We didn't have so many lanes as the last scheme, but it's enough to accommodate a line of parked cars on both sides. So you have two lines of parked cars. So one line might be for taxis and shuttles, and the other side might be for people who are picking up and dropping off. <clears throat> and then you have the lobby level, and it's very straightforward. You would have essentially very large, and we were figuring this would probably have to be about 30,000 square feet of waiting area. Um, so we would have entrances, main entrance in the middle, flanking entrances at each side, some line of services, vending, whatever, along each of the sides here, ticket booth along this side, this back area would just be kind of the building services, mechanical, maybe some baggage, whatever. And we would try to fit toilets. We were thinking we'd probably also like to have a, a bike locker, you know, bike storage, locker, shower facilities, and squeeze it into that little triangular area. And then if you're taking the train, you're at grade level, you simply follow the tunnel staying at grade, and that's pretty much the root of the old existing tunnel. Coming out to, we're showing two platforms with escalators going up, and obviously <coughs> elevators. If you're taking the bus, you would take these two escalators up to the upper level, which is here. And the upper level is simply a, a mezzanine with the space, you get the circulation route taking you out to the bus platform. The space on either side could be, one side might be like a bar, and the other side might be a little sit-down restaurant area. And then the bus platform would be up here. And what we been doing is bringing the buses in, and we're making them go uphill, but they're far away. Taking this right turn off of Joseph Avenue, following essentially that old dirt road that's already there, coming up to here, then they can continue at that level all the way across St. Paul and join the inner loop. Um, the parking level below, you probably have an entrance level off of uh, Clinton. They would have to ramp down because it would have to be low enough to get underneath the tunnel to the tracks, and then it could ramp back up on the other side as an exit level. And I don't know, you figured 300 something cars, you know, essentially the same area. We were th didn't think it'd get anywhere near that much. I come. But it could possibly, you know, we were thinking this would be lucky to get like 75 cars in there, but we didn't try to lay it out. That's 100 scale too. Yeah, so 100 scale. But you know, you do have the option of extending this across and as far out under, under Central Avenue and beyond, so that's, that's there. And have our surface lot too, about 9 to 10. Yeah. Just yeah. We also have, have on the main level here. Does anybody yeah. know the rock situation there? Like when they were doing the expressway, did they have to blast yeah. away? Well, I think if you drive know? through the inner loop, you see a lot of rocks. Yeah. So that's an yeah. issue. So you can't go down a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could. But, but you know, most of what's there now is full street, it was 12 feet below grade. Yeah. We do have a parking area up in here, and you know, we see this as an area that could be future building expansion, it could become a multi-level parking, it could become another development site, so it's kind of a flexible area. For now, it's additional just surface parking accessed about at that point. Um, and the whole concept of this thing is that you come off the train or the bus, you enter into this space, and you have this amazing view of the city. 
So we created this very tall space. And in section, we have something like this, with a big curvilinear roof and some masts that go up and cables, you know, sort of Calatrava-esque. And we have smaller versions of that for the buses. The buses are here. And another version of that for the trains. So there's the four trains that would be able to be served. So you can see in section the parking level and this clearing up. This is the, the train tunnel just ties directly into the lobby and then you can go up into the bus level and get to the buses there. And this is Mark's amazing five minute sketch <laughs> of what something something about what this might look like. So again, this taller central portion, somewhat lower flanking portions in these, these T areas. You know, very, very glassy all the way across there and a big clock. <laughs> so you know what time it is. And you know, I think very similarly to what the last team showed, we would like to see this area really become very much this great civic space that enters. And I like the idea of the flanking buildings either side, you know, because this is rather large. Um, and, you know, as you were talking about the post office, it really occurs to me, boy, I bet you could turn that into a great hotel. And, you know, maybe you could hobble up the center and pop a little bit of more of a tower or something, but that could be a, a really great thing. So, I don't know, anything else we want to say, Mark? No. Mike? That's perfect. Good enough? Okay. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> So I think we would, actually I'd like to talk a little bit about the other scheme that we only have in our minds. Because mm. it's, you know, I think if we get a chance we should try to draw it. And it's essentially a three level scheme where you try to create an at grade parking that's kind of in the middle here. And maybe wrapped on two sides or maybe just wrapped across the front of the building. And you come in and you go up and we're going to have the buses kind of drive in between the parking and this lobby so that at the grade level the buses would be going across here and they would enter right into this lobby space. Then you go up really high and then you can have a train station <coughs> that actually goes right across the tracks. So you could be in the train station waiting room overlooking the city and overlooking the tracks so, you know, you could be sitting up there and watch the trains going by underneath you, and then you would drop down from there to the platforms. So, we didn't have time, but I think it'd be something worth exploring as well. We figured that's probably the high budget option. That's like the Claude Bragdon scheme that didn't get built, and this is more like the Claude Bragdon scheme that didn't get built. So. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Good show. All right. Good job. Good job. Number three. Which group is number three? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Al Pardee's group. Okay. <laughs> it's like a new reality show designing with the stars. <laughs> 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 Sarah Palin's daughter was winging the bad call, though. Move three, front and center. Take, take, take. Take, take, take. Take, take, take. take. Is that, is that a little check? Or, uh, we, have, uh, we, have we can do it. 